welcome back to Tribe TV. I'm Jordan, this is Chi this is Joe, and we are ready for another really amazing, exciting episode today. So we'll be right back after this. I love celebrating special occasions and I always love to take photographs to capture that moment so it reminds me of that time when I was celebrating and I don't know about you guys but then I end up with loads and loads of photographs what do I do with them then so that's given me an idea for today's craft if you want to know what it is Stay tuned, because here's what you'll need. To make your celebration photo frame, firstly, take a photograph. Mine includes two of my most favourite people in the whole wide world. Then, you need to take some coloured card. If you don't have coloured card, don't worry, you can always use a cereal box and then paint it in your favourite colours. Now you need to measure the size of your photograph against the card. Make sure you leave a little bit of room all the way around the, the photo. Then take another piece of card, but with this, we need to cut, cut out a rectangle in the middle. Now I suggest you get a grown up to help you with this because it can be a little bit fiddly. We also need a smaller rectangle of card and I'll show you what that's for in a moment. Then, with your glue, we need to apply glue to three sides of the larger piece of card. And then, glue your frame onto the front. And I'll be right back when I've done mine. Make sure you don't glue the top side, because this is where our photograph goes inside the frame just like that. And do you remember the other piece of card I told you about? Well, we're going to glue that on the back in the middle because this is what helps our photograph frame to stand up. And now is the fun part. You can decorate your frame however you want. I'm going to be using some colored buttons and some letters and I've made the word smile 
because this photo makes me really happy when I look at it. So I'm just going to glue on my buttons and letters and I'll be right back. And there it is, a celebration photograph frame. Why don't you take a photograph of the one you make and send it in because we'd love to see what you've been doing. So today guys, we have a big special guest on with us. She's gonna be helping me out a little bit with the challenge for Josiah and Chi Chi. I met up with Beth in a coffee shop and we Zoom called um, Chi Chi and Joe in order to do the challenge. And you guys may remember Beth the last time she was on for all of this. <laughs> So we basically Zoom called and the challenge was very simple, it was very easy. Me and Beth said different objects that Joe and Chi Chi had to go find in their houses. And the first person to bring it back to the camera won the point. Up first, round number one, very easy guys, very, very simple. What I need you to go do is go and fetch a cup of water. Go, 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 go. Size and the winner, Joe. Well done, Brandon. Four round of applause. Round number two, a little bit easier or harder, maybe. I don't know. But now I need you guys to drink that cup of water as fast as you can and put the empty cup on your head. Go, 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 go. Well done, Chi Chi. Well done, Chi Chi. Chi Chi has got it on her head first. So it is one, 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 one. Well done, guys. Okay, up next. This is a little bit trickier. This is going to involve you going outside, guys. So I need you to go and get 10 pieces of grass. Can you do that for me? Three, two, one, go. And Cho is back. Where's Chi Chi gone? Hmm. Oh, there she is. There she is. Chi Chi is back. Well done, Chi Chi. I think, I think, may have lost that one. Joe gets the point. 2 1 to Joe. 2 1 to Joe. Okay, number four. This one's a little bit trickier. Now I need you guys to go and get a pair of socks and put both socks on either ear. 3 2 1, go. <laughs> pretty close but I think Josiah has just stolen that point look I even got a sock on my ear bearing in mind I'm in a coffee shop and everyone's gonna think I'm a bit weird with a sock on my ear but hey hey it's part of Tribe TV it's part of the fun okay now this is a bit of an obscure and random challenge what I need you guys to do is I need you to go get a singular piece of rice a singular piece of rice can you do that for me three two one go They're back with pretty similar times. We'll call that one a draw. And because it's a bit harsh trying to get you to get one piece of rice and you brought back a bag of rice each, we'll give that as a draw. Um, good job, guys. Good job, guys. So the next one is this. I need you guys to go get car keys. Go. Vroom. Joe, how did you get that so quickly? Were they next to you or something? Joe gets another point, well done Josiah, well done Josiah. Up next, this one is going to be very difficult, it could be very tricky. Last week we spoke about this and Josiah's many 
a variety of collection of these particular items, but I need you to go get a football shirt. Three, two, one, go! Right, Chi Chi is already wearing one. So Chi Chi just needed to go like this to show us the shirt. Um, I think he won this point, Chi Chi. Well done, well done, well done. Joe, you're a bit late, mate. Sorry, buddy. Okay, round eight, Bev, over to you. A pillow, go get a cushion, go get a pillow, go, 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 go. And Chi Chi wins the pillow. Well done, Chi Chi, well done, Chi. Managed to get a pillow and slid it in there. Good job. Okay, my go, my go. Uh, I need you guys to get me a trainer. <laughs> Josiah Maru, speed. Well, then you like Usain Bolt there, flying through the clouds to get a trainer. Well done, guys. Well done, guys. Okay, we're gonna do one more round after this lesson. So hey guys, I'm here for the lesson again with you guys this week and today I want to talk about living in our true identity. How many of you guys ever have pretended to dress up and be somebody else? Maybe you've dressed up and you've put on a football shirt and you've decided that you're Lionel Messi and that you're going to score loads and loads of goals and that you're going to be the next big Premier League football player ever. Or maybe you've dressed up and you've pretended that you're a cowboy and you've walked around and every time you saw someone you've gone pew, 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 pew. See, so often we can, we can pretend to be things, uh, be other people, and we put other clothes on to pretend we're those people. For example, we may dress up and we may pretend to be a tiger, and we may walk around and go, Rah! and scare people with our mask on. Or we may pretend to be a giraffe, and we may try and become really, really tall and walk around on our tiptoes so people know that we are a giraffe. See, even when we put different items on, different clothes on, when I take the clothes off, when I take the mask off, guess what? I'm still me. Even though I've put a mask on, even though I've put another outfit on to pretend to be another person or another thing, the reality is that when I take those clothes off, when I take those, that mask off, I'm still me. See, wearing different clothes doesn't change who we are. See, so many people think that if they can wear the good clothes, the nice clothes, the, the cool clothes, they're automatically going to be cool. But actually, did you guys know that you guys are amazing as you are? It doesn't matter what you wear, it doesn't matter what you put on, it doesn't matter what things you have, you all are amazing, you are all wonderful, you are all cool. Why? Because your identity is based in Jesus. What does that mean? When our identity is based in Jesus, it means that we are loved regardless of whether people think we have cool clothes or not. Whether we have the latest toy or not, it doesn't matter. We love. And Jesus says that we are like royalty. We, we become the sons and daughters of a king. How cool is that? We may not have a tiara or a crown on our head, but actually, did you guys know, we don't need a crown or a tiara, or a special set of clothes to make us a prince and a princess of the kingdom of God. But actually, we are. We are sons and daughters of the king as we are. And so that's what I want to remind you guys of today is this. It doesn't matter what we look like. It doesn't matter what we wear. It doesn't matter what we put on or pretend, try and pretend to be. That We are always, always sons and daughters of God. And that's such an awesome thing. So I'm going to say a prayer. And if you want to agree with me, you can say amen at the end. So dear Lord Jesus, thank you for showing us in the lesson today that it doesn't matter what we've got going on, what we look like, what we're wearing. We are always, always, always sons and daughters of you because you love us and you care about us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Okay, guys, so we're back for the final round, and the final round is going to be a little trickier than usual. Instead of going to get something, I need you to go do something. Is that okay? So I need you, in order to win this round, to go 
and get dressed as your teacher. Go get dressed as your teacher. But before you go, guys, it's really important that I tell you this. This round is worth not one point, not two points, but three points. So if you get back first and you're dressed as your teacher, you get the big three, okay? Three, two, one, go. So cheating. Go! I wonder where Joe is. I wonder where Joe is. Ah, oh, here he is. Good job, Joe. That's you. Kind of look like what you'd wear to tribe on a Sunday morning. But is that what your teacher wears? Yeah. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Okay. So I think this is a difficult one. I think it's going to be another draw because you both have done very, very well. Um, and Chi Chi even just put glasses on. So we can't really give you the win for that, but at the same time, the impression was very good. So we'll give it a draw. Um, so what we're gonna do is reveal the winners. And the winner of this week's store, this week's challenge is, drum roll please, Josiah Murray. Oi, 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 oi. Well then, Joe, well then, Joe. So, Joe, now me and you need to give Chi Chi a forfeit. And what is the forfeit gonna be? It's gonna be two points on the face. Okay, Chi Chi, you know the drill. Last thing for you to get today is get a bit of toothpaste, get it on your finger, and put it all over your face. Good job, Chi Chi. That just does not look nice at all. I really hope I don't lose a challenge see. Otherwise, oh, it can be a bit embarrassing for me. Anyway, Joe, while we are watching Chi Chi cover herself in toothpaste, we need you guys to remember that you need to like this video and subscribe to make sure you catch up all on all of Tribe TV content on YouTube and Facebook. And guys, we will ha have a great week and we'll see you all very, very soon. See you later, guys.